Hey everybody, this video once again brings us back out to the Valley Forge, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania area. And the reason why we're back out here again today is to take a look at something pretty interesting, something that I've been wanting to take a look at for a while now because I just love the history of this whole area. Not just the Revolutionary War history, there is plenty of that right over there, right on the other side of Highway 422 to the Valley Forge National Historical Park. So there is plenty of Revolutionary War history out here, which is definitely very, very interesting. But what I love about this area is the town of Port Kennedy, Pennsylvania, the town that no longer exists. As of 1973, the town was disenfranchised, wiped off the face of the map, and sitting right here, right in front of us, is the first Presbyterian Church of Port Kennedy. Look at this. Even though technically, I do believe right now we are in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, here sits the first Presbyterian Church of Port Kennedy. Because at one point we were not in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. We were in Port Kennedy, Pennsylvania. We're actually walking right now on Old Valley Forge Road. And the reason why it's called Old Valley Forge Road is because right up there sits Valley Forge Road or the, the new Valley Forge Road. When they built the highway, it actually cut the town in half and cut this road in half as well. The road actually used to extend straight ahead right up into the Valley Forge National Historical Park. I believe at the time though, it was only a state park. But as you can see, kind of maybe sort of, right there is a house and going up sort of that way is a road. And that road used to come down the hill and directly across where the highway is and up that way, Valley Forge Road, until the highway was built, cutting the town in half, cutting the road in half. Now the road takes this weird sort of abrupt turn when you come, when you come down the hill coming through the park, all of a sudden you get to the bottom of the hill and the, the road just makes this crazy turn up towards the visitor center. The reason why it makes that turn is because at one point it used to just go straight and used to come right up here. Now this road dead ends here at the first Presbyterian Church of Port Kennedy. Bort, Bort, Bort built in 18, they're all out of Bort license plates. Built in 1845. Pretty awesome looking small church. So much cool history out here that has to do with the town of Port Kennedy. We've actually been to a couple areas of Port Kennedy. We've been over to the Kennedy Mansion, which sits right there on the other side of the river, the Schuylkill River. It's at the old movie studio, which is part of Port Kennedy. But we're here today to take a look at the 1845 First Presbyterian Church. Pretty awesome looking. I love the bell steeple, that's amazing. There's actually somebody pretty important buried out here that we're going to take a look at, but wanted to come out here, walk the cemetery, take a look at the church, take a look at a few things out here. I've never actually been out here before. This is my first time ever out here. I've driven past this about a billion times driving up and down the highway, but I've never actually come down the old Valley Forge Road where it dead ends and taken a look at this amazing looking church. Pretty awesome. This is the newer portion of the cemetery. The older portion sits behind the actual church and that's where we're gonna head today. Look at this, pretty awesome. So at one point, this was the, the main church for the town of Port Kennedy until the town, again, was cut in half by the highway and by 1973, wiped off the face of the map. Pretty crazy. I kind of feel bad for everybody buried here. Now they just look over a very busy highway. I'm sure at one point, this is probably a very beautiful view of the National Park. Not anymore. I don't know. I'd still like to be buried out here. It'd be pretty cool to be buried in Port Kennedy, even though the town no longer exists, even though technically, I believe this is King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. It would still be pretty awesome to be buried here in Port Kennedy, Pennsylvania. Look at this amazing headstone over here. Looks like these are actually part of the Kennedys. This is William Kennedy. Roberts, pretty cool. And Mary Kennedy. Lots of Kennedys buried out here in the Port Kennedy Cemetery. Here's some more, look at that. These are not the graves I wanna show you though. I believe the graves actually over that way. We'll go over there and take a look at that in a moment. Look at this headstone here of Young. This is pretty awesome. This is not a granite or marble headstone. This is a metal headstone. That's pretty awesome. I see these every now and then in cemeteries. They're pretty cool looking. There's actually another one over here. This one has an amazing anchor on it. Look at that. That is so cool. Henry. Pretty awesome. 
Again, metal headstone, not, not stone, metal. But I wanna take a look at something up here. I've actually been wanting to come out here mainly to take a look at this for a while now because I kind of feel bad for this church. Years ago, the church actually built something pretty awesome out here, a little sanctuary. And then sadly, maybe, I don't know, five, six, however many years ago, they actually expanded 422. They expanded the highway, put some new lanes in, and it cut into the property of the church. And when they did that, it cut into something over here they actually built, kind of wasted their money on. So I sort of feel bad for the church. So I thought this was actually pretty awesome looking. Kind of wish I would have came out here to take a look at this before it was pretty much just completely abandoned. We're gonna walk down this little staircase. Look at this right here. We're, we're, not, gonna, we're not gonna go that way. We'll go this way, there we go. The, the gate no longer seems to function. But down here is a sanctuary that the church built. Look at this. As you can see, it's all completely overgrown now. There is a bench down here. There's a little plaque over here. There we go, the Crane Family Sanctuary. Now kind of forgotten and no longer used. At one point, there used to be these big trees that used to surround this area. They used to come up over top of us. It was pretty awesome, I would assume, back in the day. I remember when they were building this and thinking to myself, I wanna go over there and check that out because it just looked really, really neat. It was this little kind of area here. Probably not very quiet because the highway has always been there. You could definitely hear the highway, I'm sure but it didn't run up right, you can see the gate right there. That's where the highway begins now. At one point, it used to expand a little bit further past that way, and there was a big row of trees, and they used to block you from the highway, not just these new bushes they put up. There was a bunch of trees here, and this is probably a pretty nice shaded area to come down to and get some, some thoughts going and to just kind of have some quiet time by yourself, quiet, quiet time with the highway by yourself. But now it's been completely abandoned is overgrown and the reason for that is because the highway kind of destroyed the sanctuary i don't want to think about how much money the church probably built to put this stone wall up and the the stone staircase and all the landscaping and whatnot they put out here only to have this completely just destroyed by the expansion of the highway also kind of feel bad for the the crane family who this is dedicated to that again no longer has really anybody coming down to visit there's also a a weird Yamaha, like power wheels here. That's interesting. I wonder what, what is that doing here? I wonder if that still works. That is, that is interesting. So definitely wanted to take a look at that. Unfortunately, this, this town and this church has been plagued by just this highway for so many years. Not only, again, did it cut the town in half, destroying the town of Port Kennedy, Pennsylvania, making it just completely disenfranchised, wiped off the face of the planet, absorbed in other towns, but then Many years later, they expanded the highway, which cut into their property and destroyed their pretty awesome sanctuary they had over there at one point. So I kind of feel bad for the church and the issues they put up with for all these years with the 422 highway. I mean, progress, I guess. Apparently at one point, there was going to be a new off-ramp, an on-ramp that was going to completely cut into their their property. It was going to be actually, I believe, connected to the old Valley Forge Road or what was called at that point, just Valley Forge Road. And then for some reason, I don't know if they petitioned it not to happen or the people building the, the highway changed their mind, but that's when they decided to build the new Valley Forge Road instead, which did not cut into the property of the actual church. So that was good at least, but still poor church dealing with this highway for so many years. Right over there is the Kennedy Mansion. Again, we've actually taken a look at that. It's, a, it's an abandoned mansion that actually sits in the, on the property of the Valley Forge National Historical Park. Hopefully someday they do something with that. In the video, I said my idea was make that a museum based on the town of Port Kennedy. There's so much interesting Port Kennedy history. There's the church, that, that the whole entire town was built around the quarry that actually used to exist over there. They could do so much interesting, like, like post, Revolutionary War, just industrial history. I mean, it'd be pretty awesome to turn that into a museum based on the, the history of the town. That would be pretty cool. Hopefully someday maybe Valley Forge does something with that mansion. Because right now it just sits there abandoned. It was a, it was a restaurant for a little while. Now for, for the longest time, it's just sitting, rusting away. I believe right here actually is the, is the gravestone. I wanted to show you guys 
Yes, here it is. John Kennedy, born October 18th, 1815, died September 4th, to say 1877, in the 60, was it 62nd year of his age, I believe is what it says, sacred to the memory of John Kennedy. This right here is the grave of the man who actually built the Kennedy Mansion right there. He was the son of, I think it was, I don't wanna get this name wrong, I think it was Alex, Alexander, if I'm not mistaken, Alexander Kennedy, who actually founded the quarry here. And then he actually took over, I believe bought it off his father, and he kept the business going, which was quite successful for a while, thus him building the amazing mansion that sits there on top of the knoll. Pretty awesome. And he's buried right here at the First Presbyterian Church of, listen to how noisy that highway is, the First Presbyterian Church of Port Kennedy, Pennsylvania. Again, buried right there. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. All right, guys, just wanted to bring you out here, show this to you guys, give you a little bit more Port Kennedy, Pennsylvania, history. This town is just really neat, even though it's not really a town anymore, even though it doesn't really exist anymore, because again, the highway cut it in half. And it was absorbed into other towns. It's still pretty awesome that a little bit of history for the town does still exist. And the fact that this church actually keeps the name of Port Kennedy. I think that's so awesome and so cool. They could have changed it. They could have said First Presbyterian Church of King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, because I do believe that's their, their actual address now. But they said, no, we're keeping the name Port Kennedy because at one point, that is what this church served, the town of Port Kennedy, Pennsylvania. Pretty awesome, guys. All right, like I said, just wanted to bring you out here, show this to you guys. Take a look at the old road that just now completely dead ends. Pretty crazy, I think, that at one point it went straight across into the park. And then they built the highway, cutting the road in half, cutting the town in half, essentially completely destroying this town. And as of 1973, it no longer existed. Pretty nuts. All right, guys, so that's it. So as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro, rest stop t-shirts, proceeds from the Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do good to help supporting the show, keeping the show going. So I really, really do appreciate it. It helps bring us out to amazing places like this. Look at that shot right there of the church, the highway that destroyed the town and the Kennedy Mansion that sits right across the highway, right on the other side of the highway, now in Valley Forge National Historical Park. Kind of an awesome shot right there. If you know the history, it's an awesome shot and kind of a sad shot as well to see the town split in half like that. But again, guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, also check down below, like I said, for all, well, all the different links, but also hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because if you do hit that like button and you do hit that subscribe button and you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video from wherever interesting and amazing place we happen to go visit. All right, guys. So again, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one. Bye.